Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy weekend, everyone. Taking a look at one of our most beautiful cameras there where you can see the sun uh, that will be setting in about an hour, hour and a half. And you notice the sun a little farther to the right as it makes its way farther north this time of year. And we are in springtime and we're seeing that nice springtime weather, more sunshine, longer days and temperatures actually staying a little cooler in some areas because of a sea breeze today, which we see this time of year. We get those winds picking up in springtime, uh, but Santa Cruz Mountains, you stayed pretty warm today. 77 degrees in Boulder Creek, 72 for Scotts Valley, some 60s for Capitola, a little breezier in Aptos, so 61, so a little more of a chill there. Uh, and then you can see those low 60s near the coast for Watsonville, gradually warming. So we're starting to see that bigger difference from our coastal spots into our inland spots. 80 degrees uh, for Morgan Hill for today. 74, nice 74 and sunshine for uh, Gonzales as well as Hollister, Greenfield. And then you can see 71 down in King City. Salinas was influenced by that breeze coming in from the northwest today. And that's why your temperature stayed in the mid 60s. And you can see all those 50s around the Monterey Peninsula because of that wind and also a little bit of cloud cover earlier. But many of us are seeing that sunshine now. Uh, taking a look in Salinas. Salinas, you can see it's still a little breezy. Uh, winds coming in 14 miles per hour. There have been some gusts close to 20 miles per hour, but the difference as we go into tomorrow is that I think those winds will die down a little bit. But then this week, they're going to pick right back up for the middle of the week, getting a little breezy midweek. Uh, winds right now in San Francisco, 28 miles per hour. So still noticing that. If you have evening plans, maybe a nice Sunday dinner with the family, you are going to want some layers because it is a little chilly with that breeze coming in. Now, mostly sunny. We do have some clouds, and those clouds will return. The marine layer looking like it's going to return tonight as well. So looking at our future cast, look at all those wind arrows. That's that breeze coming in from the northwest, uh, and that's going to keep it a little cooler near the coast throughout these evening hours and then you can see uh, the bay clouds beginning to redevelop looks like those are going to be spreading inland making their way down the Salinas Valley for tomorrow morning and then they'll hang out with us to start the day and then eventually clear out of here now notice the wind arrows as we go into tomorrow not as many on the immediate coastline and not as many for our inland areas as well now in the afternoon we'll have a little bit of that sea breeze pick up but I think the big difference between today and tomorrow is that those winds will be a little lighter and that'll bring some more comfortable conditions uh, for some of our inland spots that cooled down because of that today. Now, at the coast, you are going to be seeing the clouds, though, so that's going to be one factor throughout tomorrow that could hover around the coastline for tomorrow afternoon. Temps right now, look at that, ranging from 73 in Gilroy, 57 in Monterey, lots of near 60s, so really feeling that difference between the coast and our inland spots, uh, and that's typical this time of year. 92 Palm Springs, 57 for us, as well as San Francisco, 51 in Eureka, and as we look at tomorrow, warm temps, 80s inland, 91 for Palm Springs, so we're going to stay in our 60s, 70s, maybe some 80s. As we go through the next few days, I did want to notice that we, yes, have still warm air tomorrow. That's indicated by that yellow. But by Tuesday, Wednesday, this cooler air makes its way in, and that's what's going to bring some slightly cooler temperatures for the middle of the week. For tomorrow, morning bay clouds, afternoon sunshine, quite a range of temperatures from those upper 50s to 60s near the coast, like Aptos, Capitola, Santa Cruz, and then those 70s for our inland spots, upper 70s for parts of the Santa Cruz Mountains, the Santa Clara Valley, and down the Salinas Valley could get near 80 degrees as well. That's going to be the last of our warm day inland. You notice the influence near the coast of those upper 50s. Then we all kind of drop in temperature the next few days and then warm back up next weekend. Very steady. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gina.